All right. Um, hi again. I was on this afternoon with a realistic STA 76 and played okay for a while, but I, I don't know if I did something to the receiver. Um, but the, the output gets really distorted, mostly on the right channel there. But um, So I redid the connection, and it seemed okay, and then I did it again. I'm like, oh, forget it. So um, I grabbed, this is a, uh, if you can see it, it's a realistic STA, I can't see it. Oh, STA 85, okay. So this particular receiver is from 1978. And I just can't remember. I, mean, I get stuff off of eBay a lot of times. The the receiver on this is actually it's not bad, but um, how good it's, it's nighttime. So I mean, the AM tuner is really good on this. It's actually stacks at a really low level right now, surprisingly. The the FM side is it's it's okay, but it gets overloaded real easy. And that's one of the AM low power stations in Springfield, AM twelve seventy. I'm surprised I can hear that at night because it's I think they have to reduce their power. Stop for you, right? Most of the statics at the end of the band, but I don't have an I don't have an antenna connected to it. So it's not it's not gonna pick up that well. Not that I care because I don't. All right, so so. This is the FM site of that AM 1270 in Springfield, WACM, I think it is. And this is a uh, this is a Sanjen, little focus, Sanjen HD receiver. Of course, this station's only an analog station. It just shows RDS data, uh, and it's very low power. It's it's only 250 watts, and I'm about 10, 12, 15 miles from the, the transmitter. So it's actually, and that's being picked up on this old Archer. Uh, let me right back up. This old Archer, um, I got the elements, like I said, for FM, which is about 29 inches on each side, each dipole. And I do have a, uh, if you can see it, I don't want to touch it. Because if you move this, it's very sensitive to where the, the flat lead is touching it and stuff. But it's a, um, it's an old 300 ohm, 75 ohm, uh, in line, it's an amplifier and it goes 0 to 20 dB and uh, it works very well with the Sanjen and this station on this receiver on the older receiver it's kind of not nowhere near sensitive I've had tried different receivers and actually the Sanjen is the best it doesn't really overload get to focus here uh, it sounds great uh, for a low power station um, but I do have one more receiver I like to check, not tonight, but I have a Marantz. I don't know the model number of it is, but I do have a couple of these, but it's in stereo, I can hear the separation, so. And this is just on with uh, the amp through a 75 ohm connector, which the stereo is equipped with a 75 ohm connector, which is really nice. It's really nice, it works well. Um, I do have, like I said, I do have a something called a Super Scope, and I, I don't, I bought it maybe six, eight months ago, and I thought it was really supposed to be really good on FM, and it really wasn't. Um, so, but I just wanted to show you the little layout of the buttons here. Yeah, the speaker separation is good. The only thing I don't care about with these kind of receivers is the potentiometers here and I have deoxid if I need to clean them I know it's maybe a little hard to see on the it's, I didn't want to turn the light in because it's gonna it, it uh, bleeds out the, the receivers uh, lighted dials so and maybe we'll do a a, a test of record I like I said I'm not gonna do it tonight so 
but I do have, um, I'll talk about this in the next video, is uh, the UHF antenna with the antenna top, and I'll explain in the next video what that's all about. So we'll, uh, we'll do a scan, a scan thing with the TV, and even though it's pointing into the wall, and I'm about, the furthest, uh, probably furthest away from the transmitters is about 50 to 60 miles, and I pick up more than 40 plus channels, even though half of them are Spanish, but we'll, we'll do that for another night, so. So it's a Sanjen receiver, I have two of these actually. And th this has always worked well, I have had no problem with it, so. Have a good night.